Donald Trump's recent comments about NATO are completely unhinged and contain a very common misconception. The presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. Hopefully I don't have to explain why encouraging anyone to attack our allies is pretty deplorable. Now British commentator Pierce Morgan made very similar statements to Trump. They were slightly more sophisticated but equally wrong. He said, why should America automatically defend NATO countries that don't spend 2% of GDP on defense as they're required to do? And right there we have the problem, the 2% military spending is not a requirement, it is a guideline. It was made back in 2006 and is meant to be a show of good political will towards the alliance. You can look at the actual requirements for joining NATO. You need to be upholding democracy, making progress towards a market economy, military forces must be under firm civilian control, you must respect the sovereignty of those outside your borders, and you must be working towards compatibility with NATO forces. The 2% minimum spending isn't on there because it's a guideline, not a requirement. When people say some of the NATO countries don't deserve to be in the same security alliance as the US, let's remember that when Article 5 was invoked when the US was attacked on September 11th, every single NATO country at the time, all 28, sent troops to Afghanistan in support of the US. Now I don't think we should have even invaded Afghanistan, or at the very least we shouldn't have done it the way we did, but that's a conversation for another day. But the point is those countries were there, so the idea you would encourage Russia to attack them simply because they don't meet the spending guideline is ridiculous.